Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Genshin with Daka. Today I have a tier list for you so we can figure out which weapons are the best for Ayaka. First of all, let's start with C tier, which is the worst tier. So in this uh, category, we have the prototype Roncor. The prototype Roncor is a bad weapon because it has a physical damage bonus as a substat and Ayaka does more elemental damage than physical damage. Although, it does have a high base attack. Next, we have three-star weapons. Any three-star weapon is bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Next, we have Lion's Roar. Aika doesn't do electro or pyro damage, so the Lion's Roar passive is wasted on her. And lastly, for this tier, we have the Royal Longsword. All royal weapons are pretty bad, so it, and it doesn't. it's not worth wasting your star glitter to get it. Next, let's talk about B tier. We have the Favonius Sword. So the Favonius Sword is looked down upon, but it has a decent base attack and a really good energy recharge if you're building Aika as a burst DPS because her burst has a 80 energy cost. Next of all, we have the Flute. The Flute's passive doesn't get activated unless Aika is your main DPS and it gives attack percentage, not crit rate or crit damage so it's a copium weapon but not the best next we have iron sting iron sting is a decent weapon because of the elemental damage bonus it provides uh, because Aika uses lots of elemental damage but unless you're ma building a melt comp the passive is kind of wasted and Aika is better as a main DPS just with cryo damage now we have the A tier. We In this A tier, we have the Sacrificial Sword. Sacrificial Sword is good because Aika's skill cooldown is 10 seconds. And this will allow her to do two skills in a row. And get more energy for her high cost burst. Next, we have the Black Lift Sword. This is a really great sword because it provides crit damage and a decent attack boost. So it's a really good sword, and if you have some star glitter that you don't know what to do with, then you should definitely buy this. Next, we have the Alley Flash. The Alley Flash is a really good weapon because it boosts damage, but some people just don't have it because it's only obtainable on the weapon banner. And wishing on the weapon banner as a free-to-play is not the best idea. <laughs> Next, we have the Black Sword. This is a no-no for free to place because you get it from the battle pass, but if you are a dolphin or a whale and you want to use the sword on Aika, it's a pretty good idea. Lastly, we have the Festering Desire. This is a good sword because of the energy recharge and the elemental skill damage it provides. Now, lastly, we have the S tier, the best of the best. I'm sure you're not surprised that all of these weapons are five stars. First of all, we have the Skyward Blade. It is a really good uh, weapon for a support because it does give um, energy recharge. Next, we have the Primordial Jade Cutter, the most insane sword for any main DPS. Really nice. Next, we have the Aquila Favonia. The Aquila Favonia isn't that great because of the physical damage, but it has a really high base attack and a decent passive. Next, we have the Freedom Sworn. This is an okay weapon because it boosts elemental mastery and it's better for Kazuha than Ayaka, but if you have it, you should definitely use it. It's a 5 star after all. Next, we have the Summit Shaper. The Summit Shaper is really a good weapon if you have a shield character on your team because it boosts damage while having a shield. And lastly, we have the Mid Splitter's Reflection which is Ayaka's special sword. It's the sword made for her, and it's going to be very, very cool when it comes out with her banner on the weapon banner. If you'd like me to do a video about this sword so you can learn all about it, comment down below. So, uh, that's all I have for you guys today about uh, which weapons you should use for Ayaka. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and Genshin with Daka out.